Greetings to the subscribers and viewers of CPQ5360. In a rather rare appearance in front of the camera, I'm going to give a general update uh, regarding this channel, regarding uh, where it is currently and what plans I have for it in the future. First of all, for anyone who doesn't know, CPQ5360 is my secondary channel, my primary channel being called The Maritime Man, where that channel is where I film and upload my own content, stuff that is created by myself. CPQ5360 is where I upload content that does not belong to me. The primary purpose, however, for CPQ5360, the primary project of this channel, if you will, is currently to upload a practically a library of old commercials and news clips and stuff like that that I have acquired across several VHS tapes. That project started off uh, pretty strong. Uh, out of the multitude of tapes I've acquired, I did digitize one. I copied all the commercials and other content I wanted off of it and onto a DVD and subsequently uploaded several of the stuff from the DVD onto YouTube. Um, then I just sort of stopped and uh, I thought that uh, last year, in the summer of 2013, that I had uploaded some stuff, but I took a look at my video list and it turns out I uh, hadn't uploaded anything since 2012, to which I say, oops. Um, and as many of you have probably seen, a few days ago I uploaded uh, several commercials. Um, yeah, life sort of caught up with me the past couple of years. I've increasingly had less and less free time to do that. And uh, between the stuff I need to do, like school and other life stuff like that, uh, my other primary hobbies, mainly being the Maritime Man, uh, took away time to work on this channel. And uh, eventually I just sort of went on a hiatus altogether. Down there, at this bottom row of this movie rack, those are all the VHS tapes uh, containing the content that I have planned and still plan to upload on CPQ 5360 and behind them there's more VHS tapes and uh, you might see over here I have acquired a slew of new tapes the local thrift store often gets uh, recordable VHS tapes in and because they cannot guarantee that those tapes do in fact contain whatever movies or shows that are written on the label uh, they actually give them away for free so I get these tapes for free that one on the top that's just a head cleaner tape so uh, I've acquired several new tapes uh, over the past couple weeks and uh, actually three of the tapes uh, in this pile uh, they were actually tapes that mom had given me they contained baby footage of me and uh, she wanted me to uh, take that footage and put it on a DVD which I have since done and uh, on a couple of those tapes with uh, the baby footage of me I found really gold. I've, I've, I've found uh, a lot of great stuff. For example, hidden on one of those tapes is an entire complete recording of the ATV News Live at 5 and the ATV Evening News from February 18th, 1995. Is that awesome or what? Complete, like the entire both shows, two hours. And uh, yes, I will definitely get all of that on CPQ 5360. Now unfortunately uh, that particular recording is of poor quality. It's nothing I can help, it's nothing with my VCR or the tape itself, it's just whatever VCR was used to record it and I know that uh, at that time when I was uh, very very little we had a, uh, a very poor VCR. It was already some 15 years old uh, at that time uh, from the 1970s and it was old and wore out and uh, it did make very poor quality recordings. That was probably recorded with that VCR. Uh, the sound is very muffled, the picture is very staticky, but uh, it is all legible and it is complete and uh, I will put that on there. But uh, I was elated when I found that. Um, as for all the thrift store tapes, I've only gone through one so far. Actually I've gone through two. One of them contained absolutely nothing. Uh, but another one I found contained uh, an overnight recording, just someone who left their VCR recording overnight, of uh, the local PBS station here in Callis, Maine. I guess at the time of the recording overnight they would play like uh, local community uh, 
information about local community events and stuff. It looked like it was telecast from like a computer or something. But uh, but anyway, that was just a few minutes of community event information that looped over and over. But that was from March of 1999. So that's pretty cool. So that'll go up there. But uh, yeah, I have tons of stuff to go through there. And uh, obviously, as you guys can guess, um, it's not a very quick process to do that. Out of all these tapes so far, I'm not even finished the first tape I ever digitized. Uh, you know, all these commercials I'm uploading from that one tape in 2002, I'm not even a quarter of the way through that, I don't think. So, while it's not, it's not a terribly long process uh, to, you know, uh, digitize a tape and then uh, go through the commercials and I have to edit the individual commercials and render them as individual videos and upload them it is a tedious process and that's probably why uh, that's probably part of the reason that uh, I kinda just forgot about it after a while back in 2012 but I want to start doing that again so what I'm gonna be doing uh, for what free time I have this summer I'm going to digitize as many of the tapes as possible get all uh, separate all the commercials and news clips and get them onto DVD and I'm going to be uploading as many as I can. With that being said, uh, by the end of the summer I may uh, still not even finish that very first tape but I don't know, we'll see. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I have not completely forgotten about it. I still uh, plan on getting that stuff uploaded. Now, I've, uh, I have available to me now a new process to digitize the footage. What I was doing before was I was of course connecting my VCR up to the DVD recorder and basically getting the uh, DVD recorder to record and I would pause, I would stop and start the recording for each commercial. And uh, while that worked really, really well and it produces uh, high quality video, I now have a process available to me that will not only uh, produce even slightly higher quality recordings but uh, it should make it things easier to digitize and get onto DVD as well. And uh, what it is, this camcorder that I'm currently using to film this video with, and this camcorder, which I'm holding in my other hand, these are uh, Sony Digital 8 camcorders from the early 2000s. I got these uh, over Christmas. I needed a new camcorder. Mine bit the dust. But uh, both of these camcorders have a very wonderful feature. Both of them have an analog AV input. So what I can do is I can connect my VCR uh, up to one, uh, either of these camcorders and I can not only if I want to uh, record the signal from the VCR onto digital A tape but I can actually directly stream it right into the computer and uh, the resulting digitized video is full NTSC DV quality. Uh, there is no compression or anything whatsoever and that's really nice. But uh, I have found a problem with that, and that is if the signal, let's say I have a really poor quality tape that I'm trying to digitize, if the signal is not strong enough, uh, these camcorders will just completely block it out. You'll just get a blue screen and the signal will not be digitized. You'll get the audio, but you won't get the video. So that is one problem. But uh, if that's the case, I can go back to the DVD recorder. That's all right. Yeah, for stuff I have that's still, you know, a good quality signal on the tape. Uh, these will make things a bit higher quality and a bit faster too. As for my VCRs, uh, well this one at the top here, this is the one I've used for all the digitization I've done thus far and it's the one I'll continue to use. Uh, just a cheap uh, Citizen Chinese VCR from the early 2000s. It's been a great VCR, I've owned it since it was new. And uh, it does a great job, it's just a low end unit, two head mono. But uh, it certainly does the job. Most, if not all, of those tapes are recorded with mono sound anyway. So, you know, I'm not really losing anything by not having a stereo VCR. This VCR down here, it's an RCA from the late 1980s. It works fine, but it needs new belts, so it's not usable at the moment. Um, from what I've tested of it so far, it doesn't really produce a higher quality image than this VCR. So I'm just going to continue to use this one since the belts are fine and it still works perfect and everything. But, uh, that's my VCR, which I'm using. So, that's just about all I have for you right now. Uh, I'm excited to get some, some more of those tapes digitized and get some more stuff on YouTube. I hope you guys look forward to seeing some of the stuff I have for you. 
Now, with that being said, of course, again, not sure how much I'll be able to get on YouTube, but uh, I'll certainly try my best with uh, what time and equipment I have. So, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you later.